Target is knuckle deep in knuckles. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all time high. Couples have toys and jumps on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you ask Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell along, we are together. Yes. <laughs> Did that sound dirty, what I just said? Oh. That's gross. That's a that's a little much. Our channel is well known for being very clean. Very clean cut. No dirtiness on this channel. You seem to be forgetting that ugly ass carnage. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, he's dirtied up the channel a lot. This would be the perfect time to have a very close up picture of somebody's butthole. I don't think we can do that here. If it's like one of those things in those children's magazines, you ever see it where it's like really, really close, you can't tell what it is, and it's like, what is this? Like an ex asparagus, but you, you're only seeing the very yes. bottom, and like, who looks at the bottom of asparagus? Or very close up to like a corn cob. Well, that might be a little easy to tell. Do you think it'd be hard to figure out that it's an actual butthole if it's a very close up picture of a butthole? Mm, it depends on the type of butthole. Okay, now you got me intrigued. What? I would imagine they're all a little bit different. Like our fingerprints and like snowflakes. So everybody has a different butthole? I think. That's weird. What are we talking about? Oh, knuckles. <laughs> oh my God. Target is dropping knuckles at uh, Target Con. And for some reason, they're showing up at an outlet store. What the f What the f This photo was posted by Disc Collectibles on Facebook and probably Instagram and Well, their name, else. I believe, is Dish Trackers on Instagram. Oh, right. But on Facebook, they're Disc Collectibles. What are they on Twitter? Dish Trackers. So they're Dish Trackers on two places, and then the one place they're Dish Collect- What the f Can we have a video where we just talk about that and their name changing constantly? Then it used to be Dis Funko? Yeah, I think Dis Pops. You know, that should be our name because we diss a lot of pops. That's true. Maybe that's why they got rid of the Dis Pops because they thought that we should we have it. We should have it. Oh, that's a very good point. I never thought about that. I knew the perfect response to all of this. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. That fits perfect. That's what she said. How could you not love Popsies, by the way? I don't know. These are like the best thing ever. I, you know, people are saying, well, oh, they're not really collectibles. You get those at the store when you're looking for like your nephew's birthday. Uh... And like, I get it, but there is one for every occasion. Like just have fun and shut the f up. You know how I feel about Popsies? You love them and you want to marry them? No. Oh. You are great. Oh, that's great, Heather. Thanks. Yeah, but that's me saying that to Popsies. Like, oh, here's a Popsy, and here's a Popsy, here's a Popsy. You are great. What the f has this channel turned into? We've devolved to bullshit. You're terribly nice. All right, so we've gone completely off the rails. Let's get back to what we're talking about. Knuckles deep inside of Knuckles. On the train. What? You said we went off the rails, so now we're oh, on Oh, now the, we're on the train. Now we're on the train, knuckle deep, talking about Knuckles. Sounds painful. How did this happen? How did Knuckles end up at this store? It's not, that's not a Target. How did it end up there? How does it get there? In Dis's post, it says Target sent part of the stock to an outlet store in SoCal. What? You know where I think that is? I think it's Ollie's. No, I think it's at Franks and Sons. Really? Yeah, whoever, you know, that's, we don't know about that because we're Marylanders and we're on the East Coast. We don't yeah. know a thing about it. But they end up getting everything before everybody else. How does this happen? I don't know. We haven't even seen Knuckles in a Target store yet. In fact, Target Con hasn't even happened. Nope. 95 shouldn't they be 15 for a con exclusive i thought that the price was very low yeah that doesn't make any sense but what really makes no sense is that these fungo pops are ending up in this weird store instead of target and also on the wrong date target con isn't even here yet so why the f is knuckles already out there well i made a couple of guesses do you want to know my guesses sure okay one of my guesses is they made a lot of knuckles hence the reason why we called this video knuckles deep in target oh yeah it's dirty i thought we were doing like 
gross stuff. No, 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 no closed butthole stuff for me here tonight, Heather. Okay. Maybe tomorrow's episode will have some closed buttholes in it. Not tonight. I don't feel like close up buttholes is a Sunday thing. Close up buttholes is yeah. more of a Monday thing because Mondays yeah. suck. You want to have a nice laugh. And then we're just showing pictures up on the screen just randomly. And you see that glimpse of a, just a, it's a piece of corn, a very close up water lemon. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> water lemon? <laughs> Watermelon, followed by a close up butthole. Because somebody might mistake it for a bee's hive or something. A bee's hive? Like a hive where bees go. <laughs> I was gonna say a bee's house. Are you okay? <laughs> Something's happened to me. I don't know what it is. A serious question. Does my butthole look like a bee's ha house? <laughs> no, I mean, if you got really close to it and you snapped a very close picture of it, you could maybe think it's a bee's hive. I mean, really, it could be anything. I don't know. Okay, let's get back to the subject. Okay, we got we got this. No, but seriously, I'm getting a little self-conscious here. Do I look like a beehive? Your butthole? No, it's... You got a great butthole. Thank you. I mean, I don't spend a lot of time looking at your butthole, but... I've seen it, it's not bad. When you're married, you see other people's buttholes. I mean, you're significant, I'm not just... <laughs> not a lot of people. When you're married, things happen. And you see everybody's buttholes. You just see buttholes. You, you have x-ray vision and all you see is buttholes. <laughs> Isn't that the worst X-Men power? That you just see buttholes all the time? That would be a good way to prove whether my theory is correct that everyone's is different. There's just so many buttholes. You know what would be interesting? Is if you went back to every single one of our videos and you just kept like an up-to-date tally. Of, of how many times time we said buttholes. That's butthole. a lot of work. I know. I don't have enough time I mean, for like it. some lives will be on for like two or three hours. Uh, I can't imagine going back and just figuring out how many times we've dropped the word butthole. You never know if a butthole is going to be there or not like we could have said it a long time ago and we didn't even know it and then it's like a pleasant surprise you get to that video and you're like oh this video has nothing to do with buttholes. knuckles it's all buttholes it's honestly more interesting than knuckles though i mean who cares about a flock i mean knuckles. it's kind of cool it's a flocked knuckles yeah but not if they're making so many that they're going to this ollie's place or whatever it is frankenstein woolworths or whatever okay so they made a lot of them and then probably it has something to do with the shipping issues that's been going on maybe target doesn't want to have an overwhelming amount of knuckles funko pops because they just have so many that are coming in so now they're just pushing them everywhere they can to sell them but they're pushing them ahead of the release date i know so i so what's going to happen is people are going to see them at those other stores, buy them, and then not go to Target and buy them there. Right. So why would they give them to I don't store? know. Maybe they're making money off them by selling them to Woolworths or whatever it is. Did they accidentally... Sears? Aren't they gone? Yeah. And so is, is JCPenney still around? Yeah, that's still around. Okay. It's a dump but it's still around it's a dump, well yeah. the one here is and right. even our Ma macy's is supposed to be like high end the one here they have stained carpet there you it's, know it's really hard to find trash cans at jc penny because the whole place is just a big old f dumpster fire wow <laughs> <laughs> do you think that they th thought that something else was in that Funko box that they just handed over to the second hand store and really it was a product they were supposed to get. But now Target is ending up with a box that they thought was Knuckles when really it's more of those f***ing castaway pops. Oh my God. And it was like a big f*** up. What if they opened it up and it was just a bunch of salt shakers? Or a box of plungers. Oh my God, that'd be really sh Speaking of buttholes. <laughs> So Knuckles is showing up at this weird store and it makes me wonder, are we gonna start seeing this more often? Because we have a lot of things that are going on in the shipping situation. A lot of things are arriving late. Are we gonna end up seeing the new Hobgoblin glow in the dark at the store too? Like, is that gonna be the place to go? That's where you should go to get all of your new Target exclusives? How f crazy is that? You're told to go to Target to buy their exclusives only to find them at another store. It's just so weird it is i don't i just don't understand i don't understand it either if you work at target and you know like what this is all about we'd love to know and also it, what's your thoughts on a close-up butthole i mean we got questions does it look like a bee's hive a, a bee's house does it <laughs> does it look like a bee's house to you up close what was those magazines kids used to highlight read? highlights yes and it had the close-up things i used to get those right all the time what if highlights actually put a butthole in there? Oh, but then I bet they said you they it was did. something else. I bet you they did. Oh, it's a person's lips. No, I know a butthole from a mile away, and that's a 
butthole. Unless it looks like a beehive, then you think it's a beehive. I feel like you should have like a little bee's leg coming out of it. That way you would, oh, there's a bee's leg. So it has to be a beehive. Mm. But then you can mistake it for a really freaky person who's putting bees around their butthole. Or maybe they didn't shave around it. Oh, And you're Heather. mistaking that. Do you really have to filth up this whole video? You're making the video leg. really disgusting now. Oh, so saying the word butthole 60 times in this video wasn't disgusting enough? I don't know what we're doing anymore. So how's Target gonna make Target Con like a really big deal and so much fun and we should all go to Target, we should buy everything and go online. When they start putting like this into other stores. It's not Target Con anymore. It's Target slash Woolworths slash Best Buy slash Sears Con. And oh, and the Suns, Franken Suns. They're all involved now. Everybody's involved. Target Con's everywhere. They're spreading their seed. Mm. Ah, f this video's just getting worse and more gross. I do have a theory. These knuckles were supposed to be for Target Con last year. And they finally got shipped here and they were on the roster for last year, but Target can't sell them because they're so old and salvageable, like some of the Black Panthers. I don't know about that, Heather. I mean, I, I mean, I don't think so, but I'm just throwing out theories because I don't know why they would do this. I mean, couldn't they go into their system and say, hey, we're just now receiving these, so here you can buy them? Like, why would they make anything salvageable? It's stupid, right? It's really stupid. But you know what they say about Gasocast videos? What? Come for the knuckles, stay for the butthole. Okay. Do you want to give stuff away? We have stuff to give away. We do? Our friends from Poppin' Off Toys sent us some reindeers. Ooh! What the f***? What kind of tape are they using over there? I still can't get it open. So these are Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer soda. All right, so let's play a game of open the cans and find the chase and then give away two to winners. To two winners. Okay, this is mine. This two, one's two, mine. I'm two, taking two it from winners. here. I got a common. All right, this is a common also. There he is. Look at Aww, him. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he is cool. I like his little tail. All right, trying from the bottom corner this time. Are nope. you serious? All right, well, let's test our theory on the corners. This is the first time we've never gotten a cheese from the corner. Common again. Don't tell me this is a full common box. It could be. Is I've, that even possible? Yes, I've heard about it happening occasionally, but it's like a f up on Funko's end. What? Yeah. Oh my God, it's the last one! The last one. Oh, he's got a weird smell. Why are you smelling him? Because it wafted up in my face. No, he smells like a mall. Like a mall that you shop in? Huh? He does not smell like a yeah, mall. Yeah, he smells like a department store. All right, so there's... The there's the chase and there's the common. One thing I can tell you, Heather, you don't see a butthole in these guys. Boom. So do you want to win a reindeer? No. Oh my God, yes. No. Hashtag Rudolph the Red Hold Reindeer. But why is this hole red? Because it shines like his nose. It does? Yeah. Oh, that's fancy. It's so the, the reindeer behind him knows he's putting brakes on. <laughs> this video uh, couldn't get this any is worse. Disgusting. Look what came in today, Heather. Oh my God, it's a three pack Star Wars thing. And it has Anakin Skywalker, Yoda, and Obi Wan Kenobi. And I thought we would try to glow them in the dark. Um, remember the last time we tried to glow something in the dark? Yeah, I unplugged the camera. And we lost all of our video. I remember. Can you make sure not to do that this time? Or are you going to be stupid again? Oh my God. What is happening here? Oh my God. What they're, is up with tonight? They're really tight in there like a butthole. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I didn't get this guy good That enough. might be the coolest glow I've ever seen. I love the color and I love how bright they are. They just look so cool. And they look like the force ghosts. They look like the force ghosts, but... It's, I can't even explain it. Their, their glow is just amazing. I'm really, really impressed. I've never been this impressed by glow in the dark, I don't think ever. They yeah. did a brilliant job on these. They did. Oh my God. Look at them. They look like they have lights inside of them. 
Wow, I'm shocked. These are the coolest glow-in-the-dark Funko Pops I have ever seen. If you're a fan of Star Wars, you need to get your hands on these. These are really, really something else. Guys, what do you think about these Funko Pops and this soda and what we talked about tonight? How about buttholes? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. Head over to poppinofftoys.com for all of your Funko Pops, Funko Sodas, and Funko Mystery Minis. They've got it all. And the most strongest tape ever made. They're the strongest tape ever. Did you see me struggling with that box? I did, but I'm wondering if it was the strongest tape or if you're just really weak. I have never struggled with a box that much before ever in my life. Boxes usually open wide open for me, Heather. Every time. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Darth Stevie, Marky Tony, Funko Fan 626, Naisha McGinnis, Moondoggy16, Boomy Pops, Eddie Hamill, Richard Perez, Rudy Castillo, and Calvin Lee. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. You guys rock. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we're all together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.